Today, we are going to show you how simple it is to set up Integral LED Digital Pixel RGB Strip. Firstly, unscrew the end caps from the receiver and remove them. Before you connect the strip to the receiver, pay close attention to the marks above the terminal on the output side. DC plus, data, and GND. The colors of the three wires on the strip each correspond with one of these output connections. Red, positive, goes to DC plus. White, DIN, goes to data. Yellow, negative, goes to GND. Insert each wire into the correct terminal connection and screw tightly. Give the wires a gentle tug to make sure they are securely connected to the receiver. The driver has two clearly marked sides, input and output. Make sure the output wires from the driver are connected to the input connectors on the receiver. Connect the two wires from the driver output to the input terminal on the receiver. White, positive, connects to DC plus. Black, negative, connects to DC minus. As with the wires from the strip, insert each wire into the correct terminal connection and screw tightly. Give the wires a gentle tug to make sure they are securely connected to the receiver. To reiterate, the white positive wire connects to the DC plus terminal and the black negative wire connects to the DC minus terminal. If the driver has been correctly wired to the receiver, a red indicator light on the input side of the receiver will flash when the mains power is switched on. Press the power button on the remote control. If the strip turns on, everything is connected correctly and is receiving mains power. The Integral LED Digital Pixel RGB Strip contains one IC control or pixel chip per three LEDs. Refer to the instructions on the back of the remote control packaging for guidance on configuring the correct setting for your strip. Check the number on the IC chips on your strip. The Integral LED Digital Pixel RGB Strip contains WS2811 IC chips. To pair the receiver to the strip, turn the strip on using the remote, then press star 2 8 1 1 star. You must also set the correct number of pixels for your strip by pressing star star followed by the number of pixel chips. This will depend on the length it is cut to. For example, 5 meters contains 100 pixel chips, so you would press star star 100. These two buttons on the top left of the remote control the speed of the light effect. These two buttons control the brightness of the strip. These arrow buttons control the direction of the light effect. The number buttons, 0 to 15, selects the pre-programmed light effects. This button runs all 16 of the lighting effects in a looping cycle. All effects can be altered using the speed, brightness and direction buttons. These scene keys, marked 1 and 2, allow users to save up to two of their favourite effects. A long press will save the current effect to that button. A short press will play the effect currently saved to that button. Use this button to pause and resume the current effect. When connection and setup is complete, switch off the main power. Replace the end caps on the receiver and screw tightly in place. Again, give the wires from the strip and the driver a gentle tug to make sure they are securely connected to the receiver.